If you don't pay appropriate attention to what has your attention, it will take more of your attention than it deserves. Your ability to generate power is directly proportional to your ability to relax. You can fool everyone else, but you can't fool your own mind. Use your mind to think about things rather than think of them. You want to be adding value as you think about projects and people, not simply reminding yourself they exist. Anything that causes you to overreact or underreact can control you, and often does. You must use your mind to get things off your mind. There is no reason to ever have the same thought twice, unless you like having that thought. Suffice it to say that something automatic and extraordinary happens in your mind when you create and focus on a clear picture of what you want. Things rarely get stuck because of lack of time. They get stuck because the doing of them has not been defined. The beginning is half of every action. You are the captain of your own ship. The more you act from that perspective, the better things will go for you. At any point in time, knowing what has to get done, and when, creates a terrain for maneuvering. Reacting is automatic, but thinking is not. Interestingly, one of the biggest problems with most people's personal management systems is that they blend a few actionable things with a large amount of data and material that is value, but no action attached. There are no interruptions. Really, there are simply mismanaged occurrences. Getting things done requires two basic components defining what done means outcome, and what doing looks like action. Much of the stress that people feel doesn't come from having too much to do. It comes from not finishing what they started. You don't actually do a project, you can only do action steps related to it. You can do anything, but not everything. The big problem is that your mind keeps reminding you of things when you can't do anything about them. It has no sense of past or future. Most often, the reason something is on your mind is that you want it to be different than it currently is. Complaining is a sign that someone isn't willing to risk moving on a changeable situation. Every decision you make, little or big, diminishes a limited amount of your brain power. Too much information creates the same result as too little. 
you don't have what you need, when and in the way you need it. Nothing is really new in this high-tech, globally wired world, except how frequently it is. The world itself is never overwhelmed or confused. Only we are, due to how we are engaged with it. My mission is to create a world where there are no problems, only projects. Multitasking is driving home and wondering who drove. How much does it take to have a good idea? Zero. You don't need time. You need room in your head. Perspective and control are the two ingredients to time management. The freedom to make a mess starts when you are clean enough to make a mess.